Hi everyone, my name is uh, Marcin Kruszkiewicz and I'm the producer of Hellraith which is coming to PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One next year uh, with an early access on Steam version uh, this fall. I'm here today to walk you through our press demo from E3 and show you what Hellraith is all about. Uh, with me are Mike, Hi. our in-house gamepad master and Paul. Hello guys. Uh, who will be answering any questions you might have in chat. Today we will show you a part of one of our three gameplay modes, it will be the story mode. And the story mode is all about playing as a last member of a cursed kin, who is forced into uh, an uneasy alliance with an old mage and together they are trying to stop the infernal invasion. Mm. Ready? Yeah, we can start. Okay, so the player starts at the catacombs, it's uh, the lower parts of the ancient uh, monastery and the goal here is to find uh, the monastery's abbot, uh, who's gone mad after spending his life researching the nature of evil. Uh, the big part of uh, Hellraid is to find the right equipment for the job, so uh, we've prepared like hundreds of thousands of uh, items. They are randomly generated in the game, but within, within the boundaries and some kind of rules that we've uh, developed and implemented in our looting uh, system. So, please check every corner, every uh, dark spot. There may be some kind of cool sword. sword. Yeah. Alright, so what you just saw were the basic combat mechanics, so the, mm, the weapons have fast light hit, they have slower but powerful heavy attacks and uh, ability to parry enemy strikes. Uh, what's worth mentioning that the different weapons have different trajectories, so mm, it matters in terms of uh, damage distribution when we are uh, struggling with a group of enemies. So, as you can see, player can also dodge. Uh, dodging is a very important part of our combat system because it allows you to avoid enemies' attacks and uh, especially projectiles, and allows you also to manage the distance between uh, you and the enemy. Uh, particularly, uh, you can combine some some uh, leg movement. Uh, so-called dashing, uh, with uh, applying strikes. You could show the heavy hit with the dodge, maybe. Yep, not on this one, okay. You need to be patient, Mike, you cannot kill everything that moves. Alright, so there's the shield and uh, bearing a shield changes parrying into blocking. Uh, also, a shield bash is available, but we are at the beginning of uh, character development here, so some actions are still unavailable to Mike. Alright, and now a group that contains also elemental enemies, you can tell by the lightnings around their chests. So the elemental enemies 
they deal additional elemental damage. Uh, you can wear, of course, clothes that uh, that uh, work against this this spells and lower their impact. Uh, they also deal. They are also partially immune to players' spells. Uh, and you could notice that Mike, after killing such enemy, was able to grab his stuff from uh, from the floor, and now he's uh, he's able to use it freely. And this is great feature about our combat system that you don't actually pick some kind of uh, class or or predefined uh, fighting style. You can just mix everything like uh, offensive magic, defensive spells, melee, ranged weapon. Just you compose your warrior and you can switch fast, uh, fastly between the different weapons and play styles. Whoa. Lucky man. Okay, so here is an example of a secret place because there are uh, secrets in Hell Raid. Uh, in secret places, you may find a weapon, you may find enchantment elements because there's a, a weapon enchantment in Hell Raid, and uh, of course, you can find gold. With gold, you may uh, buy a premium stuff from a blacksmith. Uh, some of this stuff is ridiculously priced, but still, still worth uh, effort. And it was Kluk Kluk into our inventory. Uh, yeah, the world of Hellraid is also based on a real Gothic architecture. So uh, we have even a concept artist uh, who is architect and is working on in in our team. So we're pretty sure this is it. it was like this. Oh, go. No, Blood Hunter. Yeah, the two handed axe is kind of heavy duty weapon. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, sometimes in game you may find a cursed shrines like this one. Mm, by lifting the curse from the shrine, you stop the evil forces from draining power from the sa sacred places. Uh, you can also gain a bit of extra experience. So we have a key. Uh, yeah, let's take a short shortcut because Mike is wearing lightweight armor and he has also some some potions left. So. We might risk a jump. Oh, some premium item. You can you can see that uh, premium items are are glowing. with a bigger amount of light. Okay, and now it's time for some skilled enemy. Uh, so this is the shield bearer. Uh, he has ability to block our light strikes with his shield. He's kind of tough opponent, especially when not alone. So, uh, in order to win with the shield bearer, you need to knock him out of his balance. Uh, it can be with uh, heavy strikes or with a kick. Uh, 
in general, in, in, in Hellraid you will meet a variety of packs of enemies that will force you to use different tactics. Uh, and they, they are making stuff harder when they are in different combinations, when they are in, in bigger groups. Yeah, you need to hurry up, Mike, and you know it, so just... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, don't play with us. Okay, so if the grating falls on your head, you're, you're basically dead. And now uh, an example of uh, the environmental kill. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, so environmental kill here in catacombs. Uh, this was the, an, an example of chandelier or new shiny gloves. Wear them. Yep. Uh, and. Uh, in prison, for example, you may find the spiked gratings uh, if you kick enemies onto there, like nailed to a wall. Uh, oh, and this is the infernal stuff. So the infernal stuff is an example of uh, of uh, elemental power of fire. We have different elementals, and in each kind of elemental, we have different stuffs. This one, this this particular one is casting the flame throwing spell. It could be uh, a fireball spell or, or, or magic missiles uh, or uh, setting uh, the floor on fire uh, stuffs. So there are, there are different spells attached to different stuffs. Mm, these mo these uh, undead here uh, were recently monks living in this monastery. And yeah, they have very dark story. You should check it out in 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 the game. Oh, and this is one of the heaviest uh, weapons in Hellraid. Yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mike's like to nail enemies to the floor with it. Oh. Oh, and these are undead throwers. They tear parts of their insides and are using as projectiles to, to attack uh, the player. So you need to carefully avoid his... Yep, exactly. So this is why dodging is so important. And this is... Oh yeah, this is my favorite move. It's the headshot with the lightning bolt. Yeah, one more. <laughs> Yeah, please. Let him stand so he he could do some gymnastic stuff in the air. Oh, oh. <laughs> he let. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah, he's ready to for transportation. All right, so now time for some bigger enemy. So this is Hyrcus, and Hyrcus is the infernal beast from the third circle of hell. This is how we categorize him. Uh, he's a heavy opponent. Uh, Hyrcus has uh, heavy strikes, so some of them uh, may not be blocked, even with the shield, and he can't parry them as well. So you need to... to yeah to stay agile and focused. Okay, so Hercus Hir is also an example of, uh, yeah, this this axe is really good. So Hercus is an example of uh, the enemy based on uh, actual 
um, European medieval folklore, we've did some research and picked up the, um, the coolest beasts and we've put them in the game. Oh, that's sad. Oh, this is ice storm stuff. This is again. Uh, this is uh, one of the stuffs that represent the elemental power of freezing. This particular one uh, is, uh, is casting, I think, uh, uh, ice spikes from the floor. Oh, do the chandelier right! Come on, come on, come! Yep. Uh, this move was a bug. <laughs> well, they decided to leave it as a special move. Now it's time for Blinded. Blinded uh, is a uh, former paladin who betrayed his own king, so as a kind of cruel punishment he has his helmet nailed to his head and he can't see what he's doing, so he's, uh, he's causing a lot of mess sometimes. Whoa. Get up. Face your destiny. Whoa, whoa, the bones are flying around you, watch out. Right. Answer. All right, uh, that would be the end of uh, our visit to the catacombs. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any further questions, we'll be answering them in chat for quite a uh, while after the stream. Uh, one last important thing. Uh, what you have just seen was the press demo from E3. This is the last of the game's builds on Chrome Engine 5. In two weeks at Gamescom, we'll show uh, members of the press a brand new level that is already running on Chrome Engine 6, which is more powerful, gives us a, a far better performance and, and a lot of new cool features. Uh, and please expect uh, some new information uh, after the Gamescom. Uh, it's quite soon, it's like, whoa. Uh, so, thank you for watching again and see ya. Yeah. See ya.